So, which... Oh, so I can actually change the thingy for, uh... These curves to... Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So then I change As a these person to with change a that to set this dude. Let's see, I gotta wrap... Alright, folks, let's see if my sound's working here. Alright, folks, let's see Let's go ahead and start the show here. Uh, Subscribe with a prime sub. Appreciate you, babe. Let me let me get let me get to the introduction here. Good gracious, you came in quick. Shout out, Ella. Let's see what you've been playing. Minecraft. I mean, not Minecraft. All guys. Oh, wait a minute. Let me. I gotta shut one of these mics off. Um, which one is it? I think it's this one. No, it's this one. I shut that mic off. Let's see if that helps. Do I have an echo, babe? Gotta get my sound right here. Let me know if I have an echo. Not anymore. Yeah, I turned the right switch then. Good. Alright, welcome, 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 folks, to the Mastermind Show. This is Mastermind speaking, a.k.a. Elijah the Great. Tell you what, today, today, we're in WW... Oh, shoot. Hold on a minute, folks. Slaughter Saturday. There we go. All right, now that should change it. Welcome, 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 folks, to the Mastermind Show. This is Mastermind speaking, aka Elijah the Great. I tell you what, today, today we're in WWE 2K22 Slaughter Saturday Night with Mastermind Live Time with Mastermind representing the Tank. I tell you what, and the Tank. I'll give you uh, the the guy that runs the Tank is Cali Sharp. 420. Let's see what he's playing. 
Kuga, Kuga. Oh, he's playing Grand Theft Auto or Leap and Speed. Go subscribe to him, folks. Go follow. I mean, go follow him, folks. You don't have to subscribe to him. Go follow him, folks. Or subscribe to him too. If you want no to. way. If you want to, no. and I know that's all you want to. But Freaking anyways, uh, go, go follow him, folks. He's a great streamer. What? And he helps people. He loves to help people. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm setting up the car here, folks. Uh. That's what I'm doing. We're gonna have Big Show versus Lucky Tiger in this match. Let's put a title on it. Championship. Um. Hmm. What title should we put on that? Let's put the Intercontinental. Let's put the Intercontinental Championship on this one. We're only on the second match. We're gonna add the third match now. So it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one custom match. Bloodbath. How about a no holds barred? I'm doing random with this. Uh okay, only a login. Who are you gonna verse? Raphael? Hmm. No, speaking of Oni, let's have Sammy fight Ultra Match of Violent, aka Oni. Let's have you fight Warlord. Not Warlord. The war Dang, why do I keep calling you war Warlock? We're going to have that as a title match. Matt gets a chance to get a title yet again tonight. He's a good guy. He lets me get a chance to get a title in his promotion, so why not, you know? We're going to give you a chance to get the United Kingdom Championship. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, the United Kingdom Championship. Yeah. You're a kid, honeybee. You got to be. You got to have some United Kingdom in you somewhere, buddy. All right. Now let's go ahead and add another steel cage match. Well, my special recipe I call Bloodbath. Let me see what the chat's saying. One assignment is done. Two more to go. Congratulations, baby girl. Apollo Cruz versus none other than Iron Cold. It's going to be a title match. Cole's my good brother, so we're going to give you a shot at the NXT Championship. Alright. Our fifth match tonight all these matches are one on ones, by the way, folks. Cause they're all for blood, and you, and you can't, uh, you can't get. Um, unfortunately, you can't do a. Unfortunately, 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 you can't do. Um. You can't do like two on two or three, I, I, unless there's another way to do it. I, I haven't found a way to do it yet. But we're gonna have uh, we're gonna, uh blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, with stream rules. Samoa and Joe versus none other than a good. My cousin, 
was a brother to me. Now he finally he's my cousin. My cousin Jeremy. And that's going to be a title match. And that match is going to be for the million dollar belt. See, because just how you get the belt, folks, doesn't mean you're necessarily going to have it. Because somebody else might win it off of you. But then I might, I might, I might, like Deadpool, for example. If whoever wins this, I might let them first Deadpool. Or well, I might just, uh, let's see. Hold on, let me think for a good minute. It's the fifth match. Got four matches to go. Hmm. Last three matches going to be this one. This one, that one. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. No, we'll go with the United States Championship. Oh yeah, I think we already got a United States Championship match. Let me let me go check. Let me go back. Let me go make sure. Yeah, we already got a United States Championship match. This has to be uh, customized. Not United States Championship. Okay, this is Universal. This is Universal. United Kingdom. Let y'all fight for the championship belt that I hold. I, I'll actually give my cousin my belt. So yeah, I'm giving you my belt, cuz. If you can win this, you have my belt, man. You gotta beat Simone Joe tonight, though. She shakes her head at that baby girl and blushes. <laughs> okay, United States. That belt, that belt. Okay, so that's that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know what the last three belts are. I gotta come up with one belt. Is the million dollar belt out yet? Okay, next gonna be the million dollar belt. All right, so that's Samoa Joe, and uh, they're in the they're in the bloodbath. Okay, so this is gonna be a steel cage. No steel cage match. Roman Reigns. We're gonna put Roman Reigns. Up against. And other than No, I ain't putting him against Mastermind. Put him against Randy. And this is for the million dollar championship right here. Million dollar championship. Okay, we got okay, we got that one steel cage, steel cage, steel cage. Hold up, steel cage, steel cage, steel cage. Okay, that's six. Okay. Alright folks, now I got it in my head. Now we're gonna have a brawl backstage brawl match. Who's this gonna be? 
Trying to go get him. Uh, Undertaker. All right. Undertaker versus. I know who to put you against. Somebody that I represent. Their stream. My good buddy. My good bro. Northy. If I can find you. Where you at, Northy? There you go. Unfortunately, I can't do a, a belt match on this. But if you win this, I'll give you a title shot, Northy. On the pay per view, if I can edit one of the matches. Whoever wins this match will get a title shot on the pay per view. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go to our eighth match. That's going to be another steel cage match. Jimmy Uso. Versus one of my other good brothers. My brother. Will, will soon be my brother-in-law. Oh, wait a minute. Well, maybe... Marcus. And we're gonna put the entrance on. Why is the entrance off? Put the title on. I'm gonna give you a chance at the belt. Uh, let's see which belt. We only got two belts left. Um. All right, we're gonna go with the SmackDown Universal Belt. Let me make sure this entrance is on here. Don't have interest on that one. Never mind. All right, folks, and the main event. The main event The main event folks is a hell in a cell and it's gonna be against the legendary Jay Crutch Versus Mastermind, and we're going to have a title, the biggest title there is. Well. It would be the United. It would be the Universal Champion, but Roman Reigns owns that belt. He owns both belts, actually. But we're gonna have the Universal Champion, WWE Universal Championship on Raw. We're gonna go for that belt tonight. All right, folks. That's the card. One hell of a card is that? I would might add. Bloodbath, 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 bloodbath. We've got Donald Trump versus Timmy Boys, Big Show versus Lucky Tiger, One Lo Only o Logan versus Only the Warlock, Apollo Crews versus Iron Cold, Samoan Joe versus Jeremy, Roman Reigns versus Randy, The Undertaker versus Northy, Jimmy Uso versus Marcus, and Jay Crush versus Mastermind. A 
tell you what. Instead of Jimmy Uso, let me put my other brother in here. We're missing one of my brothers, folks. And I don't like to do that. I like to include all my brothers. We're putting John Lee in there. Not John Cena. John Lee. He's a fighting boy, trust me. Woohoo! Yeah! Wait a minute, what belt did I put them on? Wait a second, folks. Let me see what belt I put them on. What belt did I give them? Oh, you're not, you're not, okay, okay. Smackdown Championship, okay, let's, let's do it. So everybody's included tonight, it's a man, folks, and the women will get their shot at being included. All the women that I represent, streamer-wise, and my wife and my sisters and things like that, they will be represented in the next women's pay per view or TK. Well, actually, they'll be, they'll be represented in the next women's pay per view on Wednesdays. If they're not in the Mars pay per view or SJ Sunday, with a brand new wrestling promotion we got going tomorrow. So don't, don't, forget, to, don't forget to watch that. But yeah. Let's go ahead and change this championship back to the SmackDown Championship. Where is it? There it is. Actually, it says that's the Universal Championship. Hold on a minute. That's the Universal Championship. Let's... Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's get in the blue one. I, I like the red one anyways. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's give them the red one. And me and Jay Crush will fight for the blue. We'll fight for the Universal Championship. The main Universal Championship is that. There it is. Let's do it. And remember, folks, this is the first blood matches. So if somebody's getting bloody tonight. Alright, that's it. That's it. That's the card. And here we go, folks. We're about to start. Here it comes. Oh no! We got a graphics error. The card was too powerful, folks. Hold on, man. Let me fix this. This is. Hold on a minute, folks. I gotta wait for wrestling to validate itself. I hope you remember those matches, baby girl. I remember Jay Crush versus Mastermind, Marcus versus John, Simone Joe versus Iron Cole, Randy versus Undertaker. I only remember like four man. Oh yeah, Hemi Boys versus uh, uh, I forgot who Hemi Boy. Uh, Oni versus Oni. That's five matches. Hemi Boy versus um, let's see, Hemi Boy versus. Oh crap, I don't remember, man. Shoot, I think it was Big Show, wasn't it? I'm 
gonna try and load it one more time, folks. What can I say? It was one hell of a card. That car was bigger than the pay-per-view tonight, need I say. Or may I say. Maybe we can still load it, folks. I'm, I'm checking it right now. I'm checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Yeah, it's all messed up, folks. Good. Crash. Okay, well, that sucks. I'm going to make another card, folks. But first, let me see if I can get my stream to pick the game up again. Unfortunately, I can't get my stream to pick the game up again. Maybe I can't. Let's see. There it is. All right, got it. We're back in action. Oh, it's okay, baby girl. I understand. All right, uh, I know the gist of it, folks. So I know the people I want to put in the match. So let's just go with that. Um, zero, zero, blah, 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 blah. Oh crap! I think I just erased the good one. Oh well. Here we go. We're gonna go right down the line this time. But no, we're not. I need to stay away from some of these created characters, like the ones I downloaded, because sometimes they crash the game. I think Big Show crashed the game because it just didn't want him in. He's too big for the show. We should start off with normal, but we're going with extreme rules. Okay, tell you what, let's put Aladdin. Samoa and Joe, let's put Randy versus Gladden. Now I don't remember the I don't can't quite remember the I don't remember the um the title the title um I can't remember the titles I put for him, so I'm just gonna give everybody random titles this time. He's already got a 24/7 title, so let's give him. A, let's let's fight for the 24/7 title. And this, of course, is going to be a steel cage match because that's my formula. All right, we had John.
John versus Marcus, I believe it was, folks. Tight on this. We're gonna go for the. We're just gonna go right down the line. Um, go with the million dollar belt. Now I'm gonna have another match. It's okay, babe. It helps my my hours and the minutes and everything. Even if the game crashes, I have to do all this over, and this ain't even. A, we're we're probably hit an hour, and we're not even in the show yet. We haven't even started yet, really. But it's okay. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing, hot dogs and bologna, homie. I love macaroni. Let's have a no holes bar. I tell you what, instead of having Oni versus Oni, let's have Lucky Tiger versus Oni. AKA. Warlord. War, mm, warlock. Dang it. And give them both a title shot. Which they already had a title shot anyways. But this time. Let's go for the. NXT Championship. No wait. No 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 no. NXT United Kingdom Championship. That should be the fourth match. Wait, that's the third match? Okay, now the fourth match. We had Jeremy. Hold on a minute. Jeremy versus John. Not John. Iron, I mean, yeah, Iron Cole. This should be a pretty good match. Where the heck yeah, Iron Cole. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? There you are. I found you. This is gonna be a title match, of course. And now we're going for the NXT Championship. All right, that's four matches. One, two, three, four. And the fifth match. See, the fifth match is going to be. How about just a normal match? Well, just a normal match. 
Nothing too, just nothing too ecstatic. And I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my nephew. Put my nephew in here. And I'm gonna put him against my buddy. Wait a minute. Uh, I should put him against Michelangelo. But I'm gonna put him against Northy. Another title match. Let me look and see the belts run real quick. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that on the WWE Championship. Give my little nephew and Northy a chance to get the WWE Championship. Cage match. Have I left anybody out? Go back and see. Our new belt to the test. This belt will be carried over to tomorrow, so whoever gets it better keep it because they're going to be fighting my son, SJ. Alright, this is. Fifth match, we're going to the sixth match. Okay, one on one. Another steel cage match. Oh man, that puts you in a steel cage, Northy. Who are you going against? Nah. Nah. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens versus Northy. Alright, 
I think that's the final match that I'm gonna that I'm gonna have to do before I put my other special recipe in it. Let's see. Did I get did I get my other brother? Hey, welcome back, baby girl. Okay, Randy's in it. I don't leave nobody out. Shot at the belt on the pay per view. And this was a steel cage match right here. We need to go back and give that a belt. You get my belt right there. One of one of my belts right there. And now for the seventh. Okay, now for the eighth match. Another steel cage match. We're gonna have we have a brother match. We got Jimmy. We got Jay. Jimmy and Jay Uso are gonna battle it out with each other. And this is gonna be for the I'm going for this. This is going to be for the, universe, the WWE Universal Championship on Raw. And then, folks, for your main event, 
We've got... 101. Hell in a sail. And what we got for that? We got the legendary. Where is he? Where is he? We got the legendary J. Crush. Versus. Mastermind, which is me. And we're going for the big championship, folks. We're going for the U WWE United... Hold on, Universal Champion. Hold on a minute, wait a minute. Which one is the big one? The WWE Championship? Or is it Universal Championship? I, I'm, we're going to just go for the Universal Championship, folks. We'll do the WWE... Uh, championship on the uh, pay-per-view. Whoever wins gets a shot at it. And a triple threat maybe with whoever wins this right here. The Rock and Roman Reigns. Alright folks, that's the card. We got Randy versus Aladdin. John versus Marcus. Lucky Tiger versus Oni. Jeremy versus Iron Cold. JD versus Michelangelo, Kevin Owens versus Northey, The Rock versus Roman Reigns, Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso, and Jay Crush versus Mastermind. And that's it, folks. One hell of a car once again. Now let's exit. Hopefully, it, it saved it that time. Here we go. Let's start the show. Wish me luck. Yes, it works. Success, 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 success. In an Obama voice. Success, 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 success. And the people are running wild, folks. Look at all the master maniacs that have, that have came to the show. They're dancing to my DJ skills. versus Aladdin folks. I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. Come watch, man. It's, it's, for, it's for the 24-7 championship. We streamed for a while, man. Got nine matches here. Yeah, that's why I'm that's why I'm doing it at three o'clock. Well Head on four o'clock now. I, I had to, it took me this long to put the match together, man. I put, I put some great matches together here. Yeah, I'm broadcasting. So check it out. You got a match tonight versus, um, I think, John. What, you either John or Iron Cold? 
think you're the third man. Shit. That's Randy. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I, I let the computer control, I just commentated. Aladdin is one of my, my good buddies named KP. Alright, here we go. Now I can start it. Finally loading. Alright, man. Alright, buddy. Love you too, cuz. Alright, man. And out comes Randy, folks. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Raleigh, North Carolina. Weighing in at 237 pounds, Randy Trader. Like these with Randy Trado, folks. His wise sports entertainment is in our form. He looks ready. Ready for spaghetti. Here comes Aladdin, folks, a.k.a. J.P. Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Diamond Prince, A.J. P. It may not be cool to play by the rules or treat every single opponent with respect, but they don't care. Because of Jeremy and Jeremy and Chad. Can you paste me in the chat, Randy's uh, Twitch? What's his exact name? I think it's Blessed Man, something. So I can give him a shout out. He's physically and this mentally good match, for the task walk in the blood right now. Remember, folks, this is a first blood match. Somebody has to bleed. At Blessed Blue Man. Okay, thank you. Thank you, cuz. Let me go ahead and give my, my good brother Randy a shout out real quick. There's no telling what a competitor is capable of when they're battling under extreme rules. Oh, make no mistake about it. This match is high stakes, high risk, and a high reward. A mistake oh, he's got a blue screen on him. Years off your career. And it's impossible to predict what he was last playing do sex. Everything and anything is legal here, gentlemen. Baseball slide. Let me go ahead and give you a shout out too, cuz. Coming to the show today. Oh, it's soon. We could be seeing a submission here. Working that hook now. Got that magic up there. But it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage. A single leg camel clutch in the corner. Kicking that field goal. Right no, he's just kicking the ball. He gets set down to the floor. Dang, he got sacked. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Aladdin is on the outside of the ring, folks. Randy's on the inside of the ring. Careful not slipping on that blood, Randy. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to he's recover. He's giving the Undertaker's uh, thing, folks, where he's saying it's, it's over. Lights out. Rest in peace. Aladdin's got him on the ropes. He's going to bring him in. Oh, he popped him right in the head. And he drop kicks Randy out. Hits hard. Lands harder. We're 
We're at 252 followers, folks. I appreciate y'all. We got four subs now. All right, four subscribers. We're three away from our sub count. We need three more subscribers, and we'll reach our seven subscribers and sub goal of the month. And we're about 48 followers from. 200 and, no, 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 300, so it's appreciate that, folks. Outside the box and inflict some truly inventive pain on your opponent. It's also a chance to be on the receiving end of that inventive pain. We're trying to be 300. Corey, getting creative could be the best way to get ahead in this match. Oh, that can dislocate something. He's fighting hard. And Whenever we reach it, we'll be happy. It ain't got to be some this big much. Moves here. Trying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. There's a double stomp. Uh-oh, Aladdin's taking the, the um, announcement table down. He's grabbing Randy. He drop kicks right in the back while sitting down. He's picking him up. What's Randy going to do to him? He gets thrown back into the ring. He smeared all the blood in the ring. Good gracious. I made this ring, Jeremy. I mean, cuz. And this one might be headed ringside. Absolutely. Looks like Aladdin's looking for a weapon. Oh, boy. He grabbed the baseball bat. bat. Hoping to end this match with one big swing. Slam. Thank you, cuz. I tried to make it like a bloodbath, like they could have a. Like women's. But what, like mud wrestling, I wanted to have blood wrestling, you know? And Randy's got a chair and he's waiting for Aladdin to get out there. Oh man, he does a suicide dive and knocks Randy is clean on his butt. Hurling your own body like that is insane. He's trying to hit him with that chair. Randy better be careful. Uh-oh, somebody got hit with it. But no blood yet. And Aladdin is back in the ring, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, man. A drop kick from the back of the head to Randy. What is Aladdin going to do now, folks? Is he going to do another flip? Oh, he's got the bat. Was, was Aladdin going to do that bat? Oh, it pops Randy right in, the bo right in the top of the head. You can hear it thump. And it hit him again. And he pops him again, but the, but still no blood from Randy. Randy's got a head like a bulldog. It's hard, hard head. What's Randy gonna do to Aladdin? He slams him down. Able to get the advantage here. There's a good counter. And Aladdin kicks Randy in the ribs. Well, actually, no, he kicks him in the kidneys. He pops him in the head with a chair. Pops him again with a chair. And again with a chair. Aladdin is being very vicious on Randy. What's Randy going to do? Here comes the suplex. It's like, uh oh. Aladdin gets thrown into the um, steel steps. Now Randy's with the chair. He pops on Aladdin's leg. He pops him in the back. This is gracious. We got a very violent match tonight, folks. Aladdin's up against the rail. The barricade. He knocks him out with a clothesline. What's Randy gonna do? One of these got one of these men has to see blood tonight to win this championship belt, folks. Who wants that 24-7 championship belt more? Is Randy going to retain his belt? Or is Aladdin going to steal this belt and take it to his uh, to, take it to his place? Okay, he's re-entering the ring. The adrenaline is pumping. Uh-oh, Aladdin's got that bat. Randy ducks and gets out of Dodge quick. Uh-oh, a swing and a miss. Oh, he hit him right in the stomach. Good, great. He hit the head and another hit. And Aladdin is beating the mess out of Randy. 
Williams here is going still to have no a blood from fast. Randy. Randy's built like a tank, folks. Military press on Aladdin. What is, what is Randy He's looking for? He's to the outside now. What's he open to fight? Randy's looking for a weapon. He's got a kendo stick. No way, he's got a sledgehammer. Randy's got a sledgehammer. He just put it right, right to Aladdin's stomach. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. He moved, but can he capitalize? Right with the point. He's working on that head. Good gracious. He picks him up. What's he gonna do with him? He throws him into the steel steps. Last back of his head bounces off the steps, and now he's gonna try to hit him with the sledgehammer. He pops him in the ribs with the sledgehammer. Pops him in the in the back with the sledgehammer. Pops him in the arm with the sledgehammer. He's punching him. Russian leg sweep on Aladdin. And he throws him to the um to the apron outside a little bit on the ground. Ooh, that might have just broken something. He continues to press forward. Yeah, it seems like he can't be stopped. Bunch to the ribs. Uh-oh. position to be in right Looks like he was going for the last ride or something. Oh, not a on the steel apron. The Randy apron. puts him on the steel oh, apron on the on the ring apron. The hardest part of the leg. ring, folks. He just the leg. Good race. Big drop of the leg. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Randy's looking for that blood. Catches a punch. And he's now in a discouraging spot. Hold on one minute, folks. Let me make sure. Let me just take a quick look and see if blood is actually on this. I, I, I hope blood is on here. Let's see. Blood, 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 blood. Yeah, blood is on. Okay. I wonder why there ain't no blood yet. Aladdin just laid Randy out. Aladdin's got the bat. There's blood all around the ring. They've been bleeding everywhere, but he had to bleed from the head or something. He misses the bat. That was sure they got him. Who's gonna bleed? Elbow on the spot. Randy gets thrown into the steel steps, folks. This is one heck of a match so far. It's almost four stars. Getting into that zone. Uh oh, JD, uh, J, JP is getting in that zone. He's letting the call out. Who's outside? What's the plan here? What's he gonna do? He's kicking Randy. He's slapping Randy. He flips him over to kick him right in the ribs. Right in the kidneys. Right in the kidneys. Yeah, he's at a point in the match where he wants to remain relentless. Good gracious. If he grabs that bat, it might be over for Randy. Randy gonna lose his belt tonight, folks. He's got that bat. Randy better get up. He just keeps doing that punishment with every move. His offense is second to none at times like this. Randy's going back in the ring. Aladdin is after him. He's got a hold of him. Oh, Randy kicks his hand away. He needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Straight punch to the face. Oh my God! DDT on the outside of the ring. That 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 should have done it. Really just Aladdin is working hard for that blood. He reverses it. 
Nice leg drop from Randy. Oh man, folks, I forgot to put my um I forgot to put my uh my link in the in one of these channels here. Hold on one second. Hopefully the match won't be over by the time I get back. Heads out of the ring. What's next? back folks carefully placed stop to the end fishy for something beneath the ring and he's going with the great equalizer here the steel chip wow. Here we go, we got a winner, folks. I hear that bell ring, and Randy won. He finally made JP bleed. He made the last bleed. We're training to fail. I have to go back and watch that because I missed a few minutes of it. Pushing through exhaustion to come out on top. What a competitor. Rivalry against Randy and uh, Aladdin. It was a great match. Let's look at the highlight reel. There's only one, and he kicks him right in the face. That must have been the end shot. Hey, Ella. Hey, y'all. Hey, Ella. All right, now let's exit. Next is John versus Marcus in a steel cage bloodbath match. Million dollar championship is on the line, folks.
We had a busted pipe outside today. Yeah. I don't know, I think the cat did it. And his mama. Here comes John Lee, folks. One of my the brothers in real life. Is a steel One of my brothers in Christ. Making his way to the ring from a big Christian Wolf buddy of mine. Weighing in at 280 pounds. And he's the a big wrestler, too. Star. of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills this is why i do what i do Marcus, let me play one of his songs for you. Hold on, let me uh, let me get over to my. Uh, I'm gonna play a real life song he made. Let me um, get over here to my uh, my files. Let's try this one right here. Marcus on Rumble, Rumble.com. Uh, I gotta get his, gotta get his link right. And 
as you can see, the ring already is covered in blood, folks. So it's real slippery in there. Even though those ropes are real slippery. Oh God! It DDT right off of the rope. It's not looking good for Marcus, but Marcus is making making a comeback. What's Marcus gonna do now? Ah, oh, look at this. What's gonna happen here? John turns him inside out with a clothesline. Good grace. What's John gonna do? Oh, he plants him with a head uh, DDT right into the blood. Corey, we know the steel cage offers a big the knee to his face. Willing to use it as a and an elbow. Is there a disadvantage? An elbow that kind of missed. Well, Cole, I can tell you one thing that'll be hindered by the cage, and that's any sort of speed advantage. He's going for it. it looks like he's going for his move. Are going to be confined to the ring. No, he went for snake eyes instead. Now he's been put on the defensive. Marcus is in the. Marcus, oh, Marcus counters it. Now it's Marcus' chance. Uh oh, he just got flat. He got flat again. Victory could be imminent. Wow, he just got laid out. Marcus is getting stomped. Uh oh, here it comes. Five knuckle shuffle, folks. Could this end it? It might end it. I don't know if it's gonna end it. Oh, it didn't end it, but it totally hurt his head. And Marcus is making a comeback. But he's pushing him back because he's a real strong guy. Bad predicament right here. He's on his heels a bit now. It's encouraging to see a superstar withstand the punishment of a steel cage. That said, you want to make sure you dish some out too. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. John's carrying Marcus and he's got him in a tweer roll now he throws him out to the ring. Kicking him in the kidneys. He's just getting thrown around out here. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Hooked up. Great power. This could be an opportunity. He punches him in the bread basket. Marcus has got a hold of John. Oh, He's gonna get him. He turns John inside out, inside. getting revenge on him from the time he did that to him. And here comes the move. Like he's got the trigger four on him. John kicks out literally. He kicks Marcus right in the face. He drops his knee on John's arm. John is laid out by Marcus with a single punch to the jaw. Oh, punch to the stomach. Now John has been laid out. Uh, he's, been, uh, he's, uh, he's doing the um, fill out thing. Marcus is on a roll, folks. We have eight matches. Well, we have, let's see. We have seven more matches for you, folks, after this. This is the second match of the night. Seven more big matches. Seven more big title matches after this. John's punching his way out of there and kicking his way out. Oh, here it comes. Attitude adjustment from uh, John Lee. 
Here it comes again, five knuckle shuffle. That might end in Marcus Coach. That might be the thing that bleed, makes him bleed because he's already stunned. Yep, that was it, folks. Marcus just bled out. And the winner, the winner is John. John takes the bill home. The superstar, John Lee. And always throwing steel cage match. Unpredictable to the very end, but there's the survivor. He is definitely a superstar to watch in the I think weeks that was to come. For the million dollar bill a spectacular performance. Let's check out the highlight reels for that. Great match. Never mind, we won't do that. We'll just get to the next match. The next match is for the NXT United Kingdom Championship Lucky Tiger versus the Warlock. Which is infinite only and Lucky Tiger. Lucky Tiger doesn't have a. I don't think he has a stream. I don't think he streams, but uh, the Warlock does. Which is infinite only. Let me see if I can get pull up his stream real quick. Alright folks, we're waiting on the loading screen. Representing Infinite Oni. And his opponent from the other side of darkness. Weighing in at 285 pounds. The Warlock. I'm going our way back home. It sounds like, babe. Okay, baby girl. In this match, looking to steal the shell and catch to the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A 
man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight.
Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rabbit. Oh, he snake died him on the road. That could have caused him to have a um blood blurt right there. He's getting pushed they're wrestling in the, in the blood, you know their boots are getting real wet and slippery. That must be why they're missing kicks, jumps and stuff. Kicks to the kidneys, speaking of kicks. You can see the blood in their hair, folks. It's getting red, real sticky. God, look at all the power bombs that Warlock is giving Lucky Tiger. He stuns him. Uh oh, here it comes again. Infinite on it. I mean, Warlock isn't taking any any jokes here. He's power bombing him again. And again. One more for good measure. The pain we Amy is, I mean, Lucky the Tiger is taking all kinds of pain. He's got the sharpshooter on him. Wait, no, 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 it's the boss of grass. There is no tap out in this match. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Well, the opponents have to work on their heads. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Oops. There's a vertical suplex. That might do it. Driven down with a jackhammer. And now he's on the downside. He's just on the wrong side of every maneuver. Yeah. Warlock is getting on the top rope. Watch out. Oh, he got caught with the knees, but that was a massive frog splash he tried to attempt. Give, give Warlock the props for that if it was disconnected. And now Lucky Tiger is taking advantage of the moment. If he gets him with that eye of the Tiger, it might be the end for Warlock. Did the Grand Slam on him? I think that's the, uh, the Glamazon move. Nice move, dropping on, uh, dropping Warlock on his head, being stunned now. And he kicks him in the beard and in the chest. These superstars have endured so much punishment. Straight up punch to the gut. What's he got? What's he got? Done a choke slam on him. Gotta find a way to get out of this. He's gonna throw him outside the ring, looks like. Yep, he's gonna throw him outside the ring. And Lucky Tiger's been thrown outside the ring by Warlock. And you know that's gotta hurt, folks. Kick to the rib and a kick to the kidneys and a butt snut smash. Character Warlock is in the ring chanting and taunting Lucky Tiger to get back in the ring. He steps foot in the ring. Telling him that he is the champion and he's gonna get this belt. Hooks in. But Lucky Tiger just and he puts Warlock on his butt the one more time. Soon if he doesn't show more resistance here. There's a kick to Lucky Tiger's face. And he he's, the on the, he's on the 
uh, on the belt. I mean, not the belt. He's on the top rope. Uh oh, what's, what is uh, what is Warlock got in store for Lucky Tiger now? This is this is insane. Is it gonna be that sunrise? Oh man, look at there. Good night, nurse. Good night, nurse is what the announcer just said. What the other announcer? No surprise. I'm the main announcer. Witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is turning. Uh oh. Warlock's looking for something. Just smashed the mess out of Tiger. And he almost he tries to drop a knee on him that would that might would have made him bleed. But it still ain't over yet, folks. He's working on his legs. And he's completely gained the advantage here. He can't allow himself to let now. He's working on his arms. Lucky Tiger's chest is just beat. And that's it. That's it, folks. The Warlock has just beat Lucky Tiger and got the belt. Lucky Tiger just couldn't stand that last knee drop. Here's that last knee drop done it. The Warlock. That was a difficult win. But it was I think that was for the NXT. Rocks. This really felt like it was about more than just winning. Look at there. Nice. Nice. A a I mean, nice outfit. Putting here. everyone in the division on notice. And that statement was they're here to win, Saxton. I'll tell y'all what belt that is. I don't think my highlight reel is working anymore, so we'll just go ahead to the next match. Oh, well, let's exit first. Let me tell y'all what belt everybody's got so far. Sure. I had to look, I had to go back and look at the um the replay folks but so far Randy's won, John's won and the Warlock is won against Lucky Tiger. Now we got Jeremy versus Iron Cole. Hey cuz you still in the chat? Your match is coming up for the NXT championship, man. You're going against my bro my, my, my good brother, Iron Cole. hit the button so you'll probably come out first and enter. Alright. Okay. You see your character? <laughs> Whoa! 
love that. I put him in with the exact weight you told me. No, oh, man, he look alright. Wait till you see the engine. <laughs> Here you come, man. Watch this. I got you, I got you in a turn suit. You'll see. Hey, give me your um, channel uh, in the chat so I can give you a shout out, man. I know it's Jay something. Here you come, bro. Let's. <laughs> the following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Raleigh, North Carolina. Weighing in at 400 pounds, Jeremy. Jeremy. Watson! Jeremy Watson, I got your name right to it. Unless they get a handshake from your opponent afterwards. A real respect for the business. Can they even work their hands properly? All right, Apparently, they lack a spine. All right, man. <laughs> Thank you too, cuz. Oh, wait a minute. I got his name. I got your name right here, cuz. Hold on a second. I, I got your name right here. Shout out. Jay. There it is right here, bud. This is my cousin, bud. Jeremy. A.K.A. JJ. Playing that Madden. His opponent. And his opponent from Rocky My good brother Iron Cole. Weighing in at 270 pounds. You can catch Iron Cole on YouTube. Iron Cole. We do 4K videos together and all kind of cool stuff. What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? This the man is an artist. Very talented individual. That line for you? A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. And he's got a move called the Iron Spike. Think about what superstars endure in a match. All right, here like they this. go. Winning a match is German gets kicked right in the head. Well, right in the neck, it looked like. And now he got kicked in the head. That's why it's a fight or situation. Win or lose, this is a match where the end result goal is going right to the German ears. Remember, folks, one of these wrestlers has to bleed for this match, and, and German's got to hold a goal. He throws him to the other side of the ring. One of these wrestlers has to bleed. There's already a lot of blood in the ring in all these matches tonight, but good gracious. Caught with a punch. There's a nice kick. Good gracious. How can a superstar use the cage to their advantage? It's as much a weapon as it is an enclosure. Pinfall, submission, escaping the cage. It's all much easier when you're using the unforgiving steel to keep the opposition down. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they He's want. carrying him around. He oh, just tossed toss his cold to the side. I believe this is the fourth match of the night, folks. That means we got five matches left. What a shot. And we got two hours before the the kickoff of the elimination chamber with WWE. And, and three hours before the actual elimination change. The knee. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. Things are really going his way now. Jeremy picks him up, does a suplex, vertical uh, suit. I think that was called a suplex. Vertical suplex. He turns it around. There's a good counter. 
kick to the back of the head to Jeremy. Cold kick. Cold kicks Jeremy right in the butt. The rap, they're, they're rolling around in the blood now, folks. Jeremy's working on his leg. Uh oh. This ain't gonna end well. Iron Cole just got slammed. He's working on that leg still. The steel cage is just as punishing as your opponent, Cole. Oh, look at mounting and now the oh, And he's working on Cole's Ooh. face. He's punching him. That's how Brock Lesnar made Orton, Randy Orton bleed a long time ago in the first blood match. Well, actually, I don't think it was the first blood match, but he made him bleed anyway. Oh, there went that Jordan suplex. There's the second suplex. He's Jeremy's taking Iron Cold to Suplex City. And now he's about to do that F5. Good. God Almighty. Is Iron Cold going to be able to get up, folks? Iron Cold is stunned. Jeremy's kicking him in the leg again, working on that hamstring. There goes another slam. Is he gonna counter it? And here comes another one. Good gracious. Jeremy ain't letting up on Iron Cold. He's executing him in the ribs. He punches him in the face. Another one looked like he knocked the uh, looked like he knocked the spit out of him. What's he gonna do now? Another suplex. Here comes another F5, it looks like. Another F5 from Jeremy. Now he's beating him in the head again. Straight strikes to the face. It ain't looking good for Iron Cole so far, folks. And Jeremy beats Iron Cole, folks, and wins the belt. Sorry, bro. You'll win next time, though, man. You put up a good fight at first. Your winner, Jeremy. Jeremy Watson. This Jeremy Watson wins it, folks. I've ever seen, guys. Congratulations to Jeremy. You when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. It was a good match. Now we're going to go to the next match. There's going to be another bloodbath steel cage match. Wait, no, 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 no. Not a steel cage match. This is going to be a normal blood match versus my nephew JD versus my nephew Michelangelo. And this is for the SJ's Boys Sunday. SJ Sunday Boys Championship. SJ Sunday's Sunday's Boys Championship. SJ Boys Sunday Championship, folks. And Jeremy's like, yes, sir. I think you got the million dollar belt or something, Jeremy. I have to go back and check which belt you got. I had to go check the video or the VOD or whatever you call it. And the winner of this will be fighting SJ.
not tonight. Possibly tomorrow night. And here he comes. JD himself. The following contest Jackson. is a first blood match. It is for the Classic Championship. Making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas. Weighing in at 154 pounds. The ladies' man, Jackson Daniel. Jackson Daniels in the house, folks. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Both hey, good nephew. The absolute definition of history making. Um, Whoever wins this will have their name in WWE history books, and that's really saying something. Angelo, folks, give it up and give him some cheers. He's trying to hype the crowd up. He's trying to hype the crowd up. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. This is for the SJ Sunday belt. For the boys, the red division. That's right, folks. You heard it right. Boys edition. And there's a girls edition. No one in this brand is... and No one in this particular brand is 18 or older. Ladies and gentlemen, we could possibly see the title change hands. Not yet, anyway. And a new champion crowned here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you think you're putting the cart before the horse, Cole? The champ is the champ for a reason. Except that hasn't suddenly well, changed. My, there's, top, there's, there's, I, I, I meant to say, just, on that day, there's, there's, the Sunday is the kids' day. We let anybody wrestle. But not if you're an adult. And finds a counter. Kick right to the back of the leg. Look at there. He's got his uh, tilt of our head scissors on. Jackson Daniels. Michelangelo does a flip and goes right into Jackson Daniels' stomach. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hole here. Wearing that area down here. He's it's trying to scratch his face. No way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. And that's going to help him win the, win the case. He's going to win the match if he keeps doing that. But Jackson Daniels punching for his dear life. Hoist it up. Ooh, he breaks him down on his knee. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Look at this. Going counter for counter. Uh oh. Arm breaker! Mm. He saw it coming, taking advantage. He's able to fend off the attack. All right, Hurricane Rana. He's looking a little bit bad. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Oh, what a counter knees! That'll buy you some valuable time. Stop this glitch. There we go. And a 
Another one. What's gonna happen now? Michelangelo counters JD. And he got sent on his head. Michelangelo does a flip of his own and misses. Looks like Michelangelo slipped on the blood. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Nice move. Nice arm drag. Sweet Della Soul on uh, JD. Michelangelo's calling for something. What's he calling for? He's laid JD out, stunned him. Nice moonsault from the top of the ropes. This is a high fly right here, folks. It was almost a, it was almost a DDT, which might would have sent, sent Jackson Daniel out. But Jackson Daniel reversed it, and now he throws Michelangelo to the road. What's he got? What's he gonna do here, folks? This don't look good for Michelangelo. Oh God! He just wheelbarrowed him from the top of the ropes, and it really damaged Michelangelo's head that time. their soul on Michelangelo. He's going to do a flip. Moonsault, I meant to say. Michelangelo is completely stunned, folks. He won't be getting up anytime soon. But Jackson Daniels is going to get him up his own way. Here comes a flip, but he might slip on the blood. No, he didn't slip. He actually nailed it. This match is almost to four stars. And there's a sweet kick to Jackson Daniels' face. Michelangelo might, might lose this. What's he looking for? He got him with a swing punch. Arm drag. Michelangelo is stunned once again. What's he going to do? And he got him. He chops him in the head, slaps the blood clean out of Michelangelo, J.D. Jackson Daniels is your winner of the SJ Championship for the boys. SJ Sunday Championship. Champion, the ladies' man, Jackson Daniel Hyperspeed. You can just feel it, they're champions. So now we know who's going to go against SJ. Soon to be announced, SJ. Let's go to the next match, which is going to be another steel cage bloodbath match. And it's going to be Northy versus Kevin Owens, folks. And that's a championship match. I believe it's for the WWE Championship. Or might know it's for my purple championship belt that I, that I found and downloaded. I thought it was kind of cool. I could have made it myself, but I like the way it looked. But anyways, it's Kevin Owens versus Northy, folks.
on the load folks I've lost track of what match this was but I know it's a steel cage excuse me here comes KO Kevin Owens prize fighter stun Owens stun fight Kevin fight the following contest is a steel cage match Making his way to the ring from Mariefield, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Well, it is deceitful. If it's underhanded, it is in the playbook of Kevin Owens. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 158 pounds. The Super Here comes North 96, folks. Hey, hey, hold on, you gotta go down, boy. You gotta see it. When you treat your fellow superstars with respect. They respect you right back. They better go down more. Hold on, I got the chat. What? Fuck, go down, you stupid camera. Okay, that's the lowest I'm getting it. Ready? Let's go. Ooh, 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 which is why so much of the match is to be approached from a defensive point of view. The cage keeps competitors in and serves as a devastating one. The steel match has no remorse when it literally takes chunks of flesh out of you. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, target in the arm. This is... Gotta hurt. Kevin Owens pops North right in the face. It's not stop blows. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. And he's hurt his head already. He's already in the yellow, folks. Kevin Owens ain't playing around. Just a step ahead of Owens. There we go. North East counters it. Hooked up. And drops Kevin Owens right on his head. That's what Norty needs to win this. He's kicking the mess out of Kevin Owens. Cage contains all the disdain superstars have for one another. Corey, what does a superstar have to do to come out on top? You need to be keenly aware of the situation at all times. There are a number of ways to win this match, and you have to know that you need right to attempt and win. True words have never been spoken. If your opponent is prone on the ground, you have to assess the situation. They might have the power to kick out, but not quite enough energy to stop you from an escape. If they're far from the door, walking out might be a better option than the car. Uh-oh, second row. Oh, nice hit. Unsolved from the... Owens running into some it's trouble. Not a he just can't find any breathing room. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Kevin Owens better do something soon. Oh, he's already stunned. Well, no, he's not stunned yet. Oh, he got the knees up. Momentum going back to Owens' corner. Now's a chance for Owens to get back in the match. What's Norty gonna do now? Check this out. Oh, oh God. 
Here he goes, moving up the cage. Wall. Kevin Owens is trying to climb out. He's got a hold of Kevin Owens. And it's like we're gonna see. Sell of the soul move. There's a moon soul. Nice one to that. It okay, connects. He's trying to squeeze his life out from his head. Doing a good job right now. Can he keep it up? And he gets a knee. Oh God! Kevin just kicks him right in the chest. What's Kevin Owens doing? Big frog splash to Kevin. I mean to Northy's stomach. And Kevin Owens has got a special ready. What's he gonna do? Stunner. That went a stunner on Northy. And he's banging his head on the on the cement. No, on the blood. What's Kevin Owens gonna do now? This isn't gonna be pretty. Hangman's neckbreaker. Good gracious, a hangman neckbreaker. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE universe is on his side. Once he gets his knees up, folks. And that's it, folks. North the drop kicks Kevin Owens in the face, making him bleed. Even though Kevin Owens didn't fall, but he bled. He must have nipped, he must have nipped him right in the lip. Nippy lippy. Northy got it and gets the belt, folks. Congratulations to Northy. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. And once again, Kevin Owens is on the wrong side of injustice. I don't think that was a certified referee out there. I want to see his license. Oh, it's had it coming. Naughty wins, folks. Very good match, and we're going to exit just for, just for a few seconds here. I want to see what the next match is. Our next match, we got one, two, three. We got three matches left, folks. These are the last three matches. We got The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Jey Uso versus Jimmy Uso. Uh, uh, Jey Uso versus Jimmy Uso. Getting Usi with it. In a steel cage match for the Raw Universal Championship. Then we got the main event, Jay Crush versus Mastermind for the Universal SmackDown Championship, or just the Universal Championship. Here comes The Rock versus Roman Reigns in a, in a bloodbath street brawl. And the winner of this gets a shot at the championship, so it's gonna be a triple threat, it looks like. Roman Reigns is good. 
Hoist it up. Hoist it up and throw it on the rock's knee. He's punching his cousin. He kicks him right in the face. Oh God, a DDT already. Punches. He's punching Roman Reigns right in the oh, face. Nasty stop to finish it off. And he goes into the ring. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. They're in the ring, folks. Punch connects. What a punch. What kind of headspace do you need to be One Superman punch could do it, folks. Match. Is Rock gonna get knocked out tonight? That's the question. And he's on Roman Reigns' back, stretching his eyes, stretching his face. There's the counter. Rock gets a headbutt. He gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Brock's got him up. He's going to do a Samoan job. No, he's going to do snake eyes. Nice move by the Rock. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. The Rock's taking control of Roman Reigns, folks. See, he is it's like he's ready for something. Oh, he's got him by the leg. Looking to triple the leg. The Rock is working on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns' legs, folks. Oh, look at me. He just smashed his leg into the bloody ring. Showing his strength, picking the rock up, throwing him like a sack of potatoes. And he's got the rock in the guillotine, folks. One way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. Oh, look at that. And somehow he's able to work his way out of the holes. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Rock's gonna throw him on there for a snake eyes again. Reigns is getting dismantled here. Why the cheap's getting cut off at the pass? Like a cheap shot to the rock. What a punch! And he punches the rock right in the chest. Knocks the taste out of the rock's mouth. Reigns has identified the Because the spear folks. Rock right out of his shoes. The great one is down. The rock is down. Oh, look at that torch of the rock. Rock's getting his hands uh -oh, stepped on by Roman Reigns. Oh, and he's beating the mess out of Rock now. He's done got it. He got, he's oh, got his head in yellow now. He's trying to get him again. The Rock just the countered it. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Might have my chips right and some bean dip, I think, instead of that other thing. Yeah, just give me that. He throws him over there on his back. Reigns just imposing his will right now. Reigns is picking up steam. Had an answer from the Reigns gets his leg kicked. Right in the hamstring. Here comes the rock bottom. Wait, no, not the rock bottom. He throws him on his knee. I look like the rock bottom is about to be a fly. Okay. There's a nice leg drop. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Rowan Reigns is in trouble, folks. And the rock turns Roman Reigns inside out. He does it again. And one more for good measure. Here comes the people's elbow, folks. 
Is he gonna knock Roman Reigns out with this, folks? Is he gonna make him see blood? Delivered it right in Roman Reigns' heart. Now he's gonna put the sharpshooter on him. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hole. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Ross climbing to the top rope, folks. What's he going to do to Roman Reigns? He's got him in the cross. He's waiting for him to get up. Up high. Roman Reigns catches Rock. Slams him now. Got him in the guillotine again. What's on that head? But ain't gonna matter. He's still doing a lot of damage though. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Me right to the temple. He kicks Roman Reigns right in the face. There comes a nice clothesline, but misses. He spears Rock and makes him bleed, folks. Rock hit his head on the back of the bloody mat and bled to death. But not, he's not dead, but he bled, he bled out. Roman Reigns is getting his shot at the belt. Proving that he is still the head of the table. The head chief of the family. He's an island boy trying to make it home. He's an island boy. That's a very good match, folks. And here we go. We're going into the last steel cage match of the night. And it's going to be Jimmy versus Jey Uso. The Usos Universal WWE Universal Championship Raw belt. And here we go. We got two more island boys trying to make it raw, trying to make it smack down. It's an island boy. Okay, that's enough of that. Different landscape for both his brother and his cousin. 
Hey, Mac. Mike, Mac. What's up, buddy? Oh, I got it. Let me give you a shout out, Matt, uh, Mike. Shout out my buddy Mike. How's it going, Mike? Let's see here. Just stopping by showing some love. There you go, man. Give you some love back. I don't want that. Still playing the spider, uh, not spider, um, Batgirl game. That game looks tight, man. Surrounding yourself with Appreciate you stopping by, man. Uh, Mac, Mike, Mac. We may call you, man. Mike, Mac. Just Mike, man, gaming, MM gaming, MMG. We got Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso going for the Raw Universal uh, belt tonight. This is the eighth match. We got nine matches. We got one more main event coming up. Kick to the gut. It's the first blood match. So whoever bleeds first in this bloody match, in this bloody ring that I have created, is going to be the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And no problem, man. You're always welcome, uh, Mike. I appreciate you, buddy. Give you two thumbs up, man. And a broke fish. Boom. Huh? I got a one. He finds a counter for Jack. My name is my name is Mac, Mike Mac. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, Mac. He's got him scouted. My name is Kenny. You know, like South Park Kenny, like, oh my god, they killed Kenny. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not that Kenny, but I, I am I am Kenny. Yeah, it's not but a lot of people get relate to, to my name because of man, South Park. The way a superstar responds to that. <laughs> kind of like James Bond. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that, man. You streaming today, buddy? You know, Bond, James Bond, yeah. On the attack from behind. You streaming today, Mac? He needs to adapt if he wants to steal I'll come check you out, man, if you are. I'm about to end my stream in the next about 30 minutes to an hour, probably. He went right into that turnbuckle. Punch right to the face. About to go get liquor, then I'm going live. Okay. Word, man. I'll come check you out. Dude's playing. Probably still playing at all war. I'm glad you came in because it's hard for me to call this match. These, these guys are twins and it's kind of hard to, to know which one is which. You know it. <laughs> I'm just going to say Uso 1 is, uh, let's see, 1 and 2. Number 1 just kick. You're playing a watch. Oh, I'm just watching, man. I do, I do commentary. I'm no good at the actual game. Well, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I'm not no good at it. I just ain't really never. I haven't never really got into it by like, playing it wise. I play on a keyboard, you know. So if I had my controller, I could probably play it better. Jimmy smacking Jay. He's about to throw him into the ring, bro. I mean, not the ring, bro. The, the turnbuckle. He's giving him right hands. He's grabbing his leg. Pulls him out. Boom, right in the back. Kicks him right in the face. You know, stuff like that, man. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. What's he going to do now? Trying to break his leg. They got to punch each other in the face, though, because you got to get head damage to get, to get a first blood. All this rib damage and leg damage, they can, I don't know, it might make him bleed, I don't know. I've always known to bleed from the head, though. So we've been going for two hours and 26 minutes, I appreciate y'all. The people that have stuck around, I appreciate it. Oh, what a super kick right to the dome. And they both got head damage. And Jimmy's climbing up the, 
the cage wall. He better jump on Jay. He jumps on Jay. Nice frog splash. What am I doing my bean good? Sure, And Jimmy's still on the still on the turnbuckle. Stopping down. Oh, kick cuts. Did you hear that impact? Spinning kick in the gut. Jay showing his instincts. But yeah. I'm just watching the match like y'all watch the match, man. I just commentated, you know, and I set the matches up. Waiting for it. This one. Super kick. They win another super kick. Oh, one more super kick like that, and he's, he's struggling to get his first blood. Who's that on the top? Is that Jay? Yep, Jay. Jay's on the top. He just landed on Jimmy. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. I'll eat my chips out to the screen. Look at this, he let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Sorry about that, folks. I got hunger. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Right to the spine. Demoralizing spot for Jimmy Uso. Jimmy isn't getting any breaks from his brother. And Jimmy just kicked the crap out of Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, Jimmy just kicked the crap out of Jay Uso. Wait, hold up. Jay Uso just kicked the crap out of his brother, Jimmy. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage. Jay's going to the top again. What's he gonna do? Top rope. Nice frog splash on Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso is now stunned. I've been thinking about playing it my own self and try to commentate and play it at the same time. I don't know. That might be hard, but I might, I might try to do it. He's looking for something. He's looking for his brother to get up, it looks like. Oh, he got a kid right in the face. Jimmy managing to get some control back now. He could be turning his fortunes around. What's he going to do? DDT. He's making his way up the side of the cage. Looks like there's gonna be another frog splash from, from way over there. From the top. Elbow to the back. And he begins as a set up the cage. What's he gonna do now? Top What's he got? Oh, he misses. Man, it lucky like hurt. Lucky like done trying to do a headbutt and miss. Face first into the blood mat. The bloody mat. But he didn't miss that frog splash. He came up nice with that. High risk maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Nice pin. Hold up. Kick. Oh, I thought that was it, but it ain't. Jay finds himself on the receiving end again. It'll be an arduous task for Jay to recover. It's almost over for Jimmy, though. Jimmy's almost in that red. What a spectacle this has been. I think Jimmy and Jay have the WWE Universe. Now Jay's in that red. Almost in that red. One of his brothers is about to win the belt, folks. What's, what's he got? What's he got? Jimmy is just frog splash his own brother Jay. He's going to do it again, looks like. No, he's just going to get uh, motivation from the crowd. Elbow to the chest. What's he gonna do? He's taking a rest. Uh oh, he's, he's, he's piping up the music. He's stomping up the. He's, he's tuning up the band. Is he gonna give his brother another sweet kick? He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be. He's telling his brother to get up. Hey, bro. Hey man, what's up? Dreaming. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy Uso wins it, folks. 
He beat Jey Uso and, and, and his brother in a first blood cage match. Well, no, not cage. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it was the cage, man. My bad. Jimmy, but I think he should be proud. He proved he really is nobody. Not the main event. Hey, man, I'm, I'm live. You can check out the show. It'll be interesting to see the future. You had a match tonight. Yeah. tonight. Mm -hmm. You and German. Come check that out, bud. And that was the great match. And now we got the main event, folks. The legendary Jay Crush from SWA versus the legendary mastermind from MMSW. The two owners of wrestling hit each other in the head and collide. Jay Crush versus mastermind. SWA versus MMSW for the WWE Universal Championship. I don't know. It was, it was next to the microwave. Get them new one. The other one hadn't been open. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Wait for the game to load, folks. Be time to hydrate. Just about there. Here we go. Because Jay Crush, folks, the leader of SWA. This is a hell in a cell match. Making his way to the ring. You can find him at Jay Crush 88. Oh my god. He plays jump scare games too, just like that right there. You know, this person takes some pride in their work. But who could blame them? You are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match ten times before bed tonight. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. This man here needs no introduction because you're already at the show and you already know who it is. It's Mastermind from the Mastermind Show. Appreciate y'all for watching, yo. All y'all, all my brothers, Cole, Alton, Doc, and all my sisters, Dragon, Miss Ozone, Carol Diane. 180. Uh, Salty. Man, I got more sisters and brothers. I'm just trying to name a few. My wife, Ella. My other sister, Nina. My brother, Hemi Boy. Randy, Jeremy. Anybody out there? I do it all for y'all. And all the Master Maniac fans. And here I am, folks, with the Triple H. I'm so talented I can spit water through the star. The chip on his shoulder, he's gonna use that anger against his opposition. Who's gonna win, folks? It's SWA versus MMSW tonight.
Don't take either of these men for granted because either man can win this. It's in a hell of a cell though. So it might last for a while. It might last the other, the other two hours that we got left. For the elimination chamber. The unforgiving structure is down and the bell is rung. Unforgiving and at times outweigh ominous. Big impact off the come in strong. Ooh, sharp elbow. And now the most dangerous Looking for a weapon himself. already. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Oh, you put a kendo stick in there. Punch. Punch lands. Vertical suplex. Oh, Landis crushed right on his neck and back and butt. I got the kendo stick. I'm popping Jay Crush with it. I'm popping him a good one. He knocks the stick right out of my hand. He's throwing me to the road. To the turnbuckle. He's punching me, punching me, punching me. He's letting me. He, he, oh, he's punching the crap out of me. Jay Crush is really trying to win this. Mastermind's in trouble, folks, because I already got yellow on my head. I'm in a lot of trouble, folks. I gotta tighten up. What am I going to do to him? Oh, I'm going to do a vertical suplex again. Crush has got yellow on me, on my head, and I got yellow on his stomach. But he's winning right now, folks. This might give him a little yellow. This, this affects the arms and the, the head. It's a dragon sleeper. I'm taking him to the turnbuckle. What am I going to do to him now? He punches me right in the arm. I punch him. Alright, now he's got yellow on his head. DDT giving him just a little bit more yellow. It's any man's game now, folks. He's punching me straight in the face, though. I think we're just about even at this point right here, folks. I think me and Crush are just about even. Two long-time oh, buddies fighting each other. Look, he's got my mood. He almost done the pedigree on I mean, the... Yeah, the pedigree on me. A.K.A. is the street sermon. Crush is winning. I got just a little bit of orange on my head. Who's going to win this, folks? I've known this man for about four or five years now. He's a good buddy of mine. Off the scene with great friends. But right now, we're sworn enemies. we got to fight each other for the belt. He got whipped into that corner. Who's going to win? Looks like I'm about to do the electric chair on him. On the shoulders. Only one way to go is that the electric here. chair? It is the electric chair. The AKA the one legged the one uh the one went the one wing angel. What am I gonna do now? Oh I just got scoop slam. He just sat on me with his butt. I'm stunned, folks. I can't do anything. What's Jay Crush going to do to me now? Tough position to be caught in here. He's throwing me outside the ring, folks. If he hits my head against the fence, I might lose. Just tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. What's he going to do? Oh, he's 
throws my back against him. He throws my back. Hey, Ella, I the tiger. I'm back. Hey, baby girl, you just in time for the main event.
I want to thank Matt for coming out. I want to thank Ella for coming out. I want to thank, I think Iron Cole came out. I think Jeremy came out. Randy came out. I want to thank, uh, let's see who else came to the show today. Am I missing anybody? Um, I want to thank the people that were in the show. Lucky Tiger, Northy, Jay Crush, uh, John, uh, Aladdin, JD, not JD, JP. Um, yeah, and thank my own self for being in the show, Mastermind. I want to thank Marcus for being in the show, Brother Marcus. Well, yeah, folks, now we're going to raid somebody. I uh, believe my buddy Mac is uh, his own. I believe he's streaming now. So let's go ahead and see if he's streaming. If he's streaming, we'll raid him. I don't see him streaming yet. Let's see here. Let me look down in the thing. Let's end it with one of our SWA uh, women's division um, wrestlers. And she goes by the name Eat Your Space. So if you're not careful, she'll eat your space. So yeah, let's go ahead and raid her. Raid Eat Your Space. And we got two people in here, or one person, I think we got two people in here, but anyways, let's go now into the outro, where everybody have a very blessed day or a very blessed night, and I'll see you in the next, in the next, video. <laughs> and that raid will be happening in seven seconds, five, four, three, Two, one, blast off.